In this video, we're going to look at a few quick tricks you can use to audit the formulas. And the first thing we'll look at is how you can view the formulas instead of the formula results. So here we've got an index formula that is pulling the price out of this product table. And then we've got a total that's multiplying the price times the quantity. And finally, we're calculating the tax, which is a rate from a different sheet multiplied by the total. If I want to see all those formulas, instead of clicking each cell and looking in the formula bar, on the keyboard I can press Control and the Accent Grav, which is just above the Tab key. It might be different on some keyboards, but that's where it is on mine. So Control and Accent Grav shows all the formulas. So in this cell, I can see the index formula, and here's the total and then the tax, and that way it lets me check quickly to see that everything looks okay. The formula is consistent all the way down. So if there were problems, they might be easier to spot if you're looking at the formulas. And to go back, just press the same key combination, Control, Accent, Grav, and you go back to looking at the formula results. There's also a set of auditing tools on the ribbon. So if I go to Formulas, we've got Formula Auditing, and you can trace where the formulas go and where they started from. So if I click on this cell, if I click Trace Precedents, it creates arrows. I can click again and see if it goes any further. You can keep clicking to follow the chain to the end. If it leads to a different worksheet, like this one, if I trace the precedents, you might see a little worksheet symbol. Double click, it creates a go-to list. And if I click that cell, it'll take me to that tax rate cell. To get rid of all those arrows, just click Remove Arrows and you're back to the worksheet without all the audit tools showing. And in this cell, if you don't want to remember that Show Formulas shortcut, there's a command here that will show the formulas and then just click again to hide them. If you're using Excel 2013, there's a function that lets you look at the formula. So if I click in this cell and type equal formula text, then I can click on the cell for which I'd like to see the formula. So I'll click on this one, close the bracket, press enter, and it shows me the formula and I can drag it all the way down to just make sure everything looks consistent. And I'll delete all that. And one last trick is using keyboard shortcuts to follow formulas either forward or backward. In this cell, we're multiplying C5 by D5. And the keyboard shortcut I'm going to use here is control and a left square bracket. When I do that, it goes backward, it finds me the precedent cells, and because they're both on this sheet, it can select both of them, so they're highlighted. You're on those cells, so you could make a change. If that looked wrong, you could type a different number there. I'm going back to the same cell. To move forward through the chain of formulas, I can use control and a right square bracket. That takes me to a cell that is dependent on this one. I'll do the same thing on this cell. It's referring to a cell on a different sheet, and that takes me to the precedent cell. It can't select both of them because they're on different sheets, so it goes to the first one in the formula. If we go back and look at that formula, that cell is first. So those are a few of the quick tricks you can use if you're auditing formulas on a worksheet. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.